So, what's your plan, Mr. Garrett? How would you like to buy a bank? What the hell do we know about banking? Owning a bank is like owning the other side of the real estate business. There's a few complexities you just left out. Like what? Oh, I'm sorry. Did I not wake up black this morning? Because I'm pretty sure I did. Yep, still black. I got my head full of dreams. I came here to try my hand at real estate. <laughs> you mad a millionaire units? <laughs> The time never I like seeing black men succeed. Sometimes I even invest some of my own money to back them. I know you're smart and ambitious. You and I both know that's not enough. It's time that someone shine a bright light in order for things to change. Are you starting to buy real estate in white-only neighborhoods? Keep one eye open. Think about all the good we can do for the community. Taking it to the man. That's exactly what we're going to do. <laughs> and just how in the hell do you plan on pulling that off? We get Matt to front for us. You want me to what? Be us to the rest of the world. We can't set foot in the bank unless we to help. Should have took limo driver when you had the chance. I don't know anything about banking. I don't know mm -hmm. how to buy a bank. We'll teach you everything you need to know. You gotta learn how to talk to rich white folks like you one of them. And you can't fake a golf game. Make me proud, son. The whole country's talking about how two Negroes managed to buy two banks full of white folks' money and loan it to other Negroes. <laughs> you should have known you couldn't keep this a secret very long. FBI, you're under arrest. A black man tries to bring other brothers up. That's intolerant. Oh, and the working Oh, and you're living on. Something's got to give. Something's got to give. Even a rig gang is fun to play, but not. If this was easy, somebody else would have done it a long time ago. Something's got to give. You a revolutionary. And it's PG-13. It's going to be in the theaters. You like, took the mother. You took the motherfucking words out of my motherfucking mouth. All right. Like, so, so it's going to be in theaters. You said. Yeah, it's going to be in theaters, and then it'll go to oh, Apple TV Plus. Oh, thank the fucking gods. <laughs> yeah. Well, so I'm the only things it. I hated about that trailer was it's PG thirteen, and it's on Apple TV Plus because it's more than your regular Apple TV. That's what the plus stands for, y'all. And well, what makes it even worse is that means if it's PG thirteen. The 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 language is going to be watched, and yes. it's not gonna. It's gonna be based on a true story, but told by Disney. I like the entire premise of the movie, and I like Samuel L. Jackson a ton. And I don't know who any of the other people in that are because Anthony I don't follow. Mackie. Anthony Mackie's awesome. They got Anthony a Mackie's lot. Awesome. What do you mean? What? I don't know there. who anyone is. <laughs> you know this. I'm not going to pretend like I'm like. Oh, and those. You know what? And that that other guy and in that you know the other guy. They're, they're great. And that girl, that lady, she was great. I remember her from that movie. I never fucking watched. <laughs> oh. I'm not going to pretend like I know who the fuck any of these people are. It would have been a better movie, and it would have been a lot more realer if it was rated R. Can't you Why? can't do it a movie need like to you be can't? Yes, you, yes, you. You're talking about race. You're talking about the fact that like they had to front a white guy to purchase shit, and All you're right. telling me that movie should be PG-13? Well, no. here, here's I, I, here I is the it, one. Here's we'll the one see. argument I will have to that. Right? Is because of the subject matter and the messaging and the story that it's telling. <laughs> Making it PG thirteen opens it up to a larger audience, ah, which, could be, see? which could be good, which could be good for yeah. people who need to see shit like this. Yeah, nah, I, I don't, think... I don't see the necessity for this to be R rated. No, this definitely needs to be R rated. Like you can't, the way that they're talked to, the fact that like like everything about this movie screams it's adult. And the thing is, is that like. I don't know if it's going to be taken seriously. My concern is is that this movie is going to not be taken serious because it is PG-13 and they're going to think, see, people need to understand that if this is based on a true story, you need mm -hmm. to keep it true to the story. Regardless of who the audience is, the fact of the matter is, is that they're going to think that those white folks in that movie 
we're just somewhat disrespectful to these to these black men trying to open up a business. And I think that that's the problem where like if you can't take if you can't take the whole fucking the whole shit, then you can't tell it. I okay. dude, I get it. I mean, like I said, I agreed with you. Right? I absolutely mm, agree okay. with you. It's just right? not but but I but I think that there it's there's it's not an all or nothing situation. Yeah. Mm. I think I think you need to watch the movie and then determine because they right. might, I, you I, know, I, as yeah, storytellers, as the filmmakers, movie. they might have killed it. You know, you got to tell a true story. You tell the true story. You don't water it down and you don't and you don't try to figure out ways of making it seem like it wasn't hostile and, and, and it wasn't aggressive and things weren't said or how things were perceived are going to be a lot lighter in a PG-13 movie than a rated R movie when it comes to this kind of stuff because it's not rated R that a lot of the you know um racism and and abuse and you Might know not vulgarity be and dehumanization fully. and the stuff yeah. that would would actually accompany this being you know from that period will not be in the movie with the same level of vitriol and realism that it was happening in those times it's going to be well said it's it's going to be black men being oppressed by the the white police force and white banking communities there's no doubt about that but it's going to be like what are you black guys doing making banks we didn't yeah. say you could have yeah. a, a black bank it's not going to be what really goes on they're not going to show these guys getting their fucking head stomped on concrete they're going to do yeah. close-ups with them grimacing yeah. You know, yeah. like so. Yeah. So I, I get what I you're get saying, it, I get it. but but <laughs> I still feel like it, it, as much as it might make it's it's they're telling a good story at least. At least we're not watching some fucking bullshit. But the thing is, is that like I, I, to me, I just feel like if if you if the younger generation isn't going to understand it unless it's told the way it's supposed to be, you know, the way it really was. And I think that like I think that like you know in a way making it easier mm. to swallow does not help. I think that like it it kind of like waters down history when when it's one of those things where like from the other side, right? Like if if like young kids nowadays see that and they're out of touch with what happened in 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 history or like what really went down for this true story to happen, they're going to think because it was on television they're going to believe that over something that they may or may not read that was made 40, 50 years ago. You know, like, I think that like, that's the, that's where we're teetering now where like, it's going to be either, you know, Oh yeah, that's, that happened and that sucked, but it's going to have like the lack of emotion and the lack of like ownership for something like that is, is where I feel like um, movies like this need to be careful on. I, I I just well I mean I just think that like hey, in in one hundred percent support of Reggie's statement the other the other like kind of counter statement just to play contrary into that is that when if you really make something hard hitting like that that really takes a stance and kind of like what Ali's saying like it's gonna alienate the fuck out of a large base of the user base just based on their inability to some people just won't even be able to handle it if it becomes too real and too graphic. Um, or even worse, over sensationalized, right? Like embellished yeah. in Hollywood to make it even worse than the whatever the reported historical event was. Mm -hmm. Not that there isn't terrible shit from that time period. I'm saying, but like this story itself, making it over sensationalized and making it seem even worse, then you you get the counterpoint, which is people just won't watch it and they won't. The message won't be told anyway because it'll it'll offend so many people. And you're saying that that offense is good, and I get it. But at the same time, oh, yeah, maybe, maybe maybe this is a little bit of something that people do need to see, and this is in a more approachable format that, um, you know, is a good step in the right direction. We'll see. Well, yeah. hopefully, hopefully it does work out that way. I think it'll be a I think it'll be a fun movie to watch. But uh, yeah, that's my only reservation about it. I, I think we'll, we just watch we'll have a better yeah. idea after we see the film and see how it's done. You know, um, but I'm I'm really excited to see it. 